organized, detail-oriented, and enjoy working with numbers, a career in the world of accounting might make perfect sense for you. Let's go meet an accounting clerk. Hi, I'm Brian. You must be Gavin. I am. Let me show you my office. Great. My name is Gavin. I'm an accounting clerk in Victoria, BC. What I do is I do a lot of accounts receivable, accounts payable, coding transactions, preparing draft financial statements, and helping clients with any questions about accounting they might have. I get to work around 7.30 or 8. I look through my task list for the day, answer any emails from clients or managers, um, do any one-off tasks, and then I start jumping into clients' files. So you, you really have to be very organized with this. You've got to have a great ability to keep everything organized. You've got three different screens, but you've also got a number of different tasks that are all going on at the same time. Yeah, uh, definitely. Time management is a big part of my job. I think it goes hand in hand with attention to detail. So it started in high school. I took an accounting course, I think, in grade 11, and I found that I was really good at it, and I was pretty good at numbers. I was like, oh, I could do this. In order to become an accounting clerk, you would need a two-year business diploma or a university degree. Hours for an accounting clerk is usually around 8.30 to 5.30. In the busy season, which is usually around March to April, you can expect to work overtime, maybe up to 50 hours a week. As an accounting clerk, you can pretty much work in any field you want. Every organization needs accounting, so you, it could be entertainment, government, public, private sector, everybody needs accounting clerks. And if you want upper mobility career-wise, you could pursue your CPA and become a chartered professional accountant. I would recommend that you are comfortable with numbers, really want to understand how financials work. That's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, seems like that went well. Yeah, part of the job. I really like explaining things to my clients and helping them reach their financial goals. I think the biggest misconception about field of accounting is that you're counting beans, you're just working with numbers all day, but there's a lot of communication that goes on. In all of the software, you have to be really pretty savvy with computers because the software is going to be coming in and out and changing and there's going to be new software all the time. Mm -hmm. This software, we actually just really started using it. It's called Xero, so let's just pull it up here. And yeah, so this is a cloud-based uh, accounting software, so mm -hmm. you can link it to your bank account and not have to manually like, import wow. these statements. And I can access it anywhere and they can upload it anywhere. So it's great. Definitely speeds up the reporting process too. The most rewarding aspect of my job would be watching our clients not worry about accounting anymore because we take that out of their hands. They can just focus on the part of the business that they like and seeing the cool stuff they make, the cool ideas they come up with. Gavin, I think it's so cool that you spend so much time working on a number of different companies all at once. Mm -hmm, definitely. One day I could be working on a company that makes surfboards, the next I could be working on a bakery. That's great. Hey, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. My pleasure. Take care. Once again, I'm Brian for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. Mm -hmm.